Well, I finished this part just in time for the weather to turn a little bit on me. It's snowing just a little bit, just barely even a trace out here, but it's still kind of pretty, you know? It's, uh, it's always a nice surprise when we get a little snow. I processed four of our seven quail. That way we can keep just one male in each of the cages. As always, we've decided not to show any of the killing of our animals. So far, I've harvested chickens, rabbits, and a turkey. And I wish they were all as easy as quail are. I just sat right here over a five gallon bucket and it didn't take very long at all. Our quail hutch needs a little work. Some parts have started to swell a little bit and are rubbing against the doors. Also, the second layer of hardware cloth that I put in as protection against predators has been clogging up with the quail poop. I'll be replacing it with some leftover fencing material. That should do the trick. Today is as good as any to get to this project I've been putting off for a while. Although we won't need to move the new quail chicks out here right away, it's a lot easier to work on this with only the three quail in here at the moment. First, I'll have to move each of the quail so I can work on any particular area with the cage door open. Oh, good quail. You're a good one. Oh, get back here. Get back here. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. No, you're not your bad quail. Oh, got you again. You'll be safe over here in the brooder corner. I'll be back soon.
Replacing the bottom hardware cloth is going to be a little more involved than I was thinking. Just to be on the safe side, I've moved the quail again. Two of them are separated on either half of the brooder corner. And the other one is in this little blue carrier over here. I'm just not entirely sure that once I take that bottom hardware cloth, that the interior floor ramps that I've got in there in those other cages won't fall through. And I just don't want to risk the quail or have to catch them if, uh, if that happens. Let's take a quick look and see how those quail are doing in the brooder corner. Quail behavior is funny to watch sometimes. The pass-through opening is cut into the other side of this brooder tub. By sliding it in the wrong way, I was able to cut off their doorway. You can really see why we had to limit the number of males. These guys would like nothing better than to fight with each other. Quail aren't the smartest birds, but they are persistent.
The woman we bought our new quail chicks from had a chance to look at some of our videos with this quail hutch, and she thought that our cages could use a little more light. Over here in the brooder section, I put in a skylight just so we could have a nice easy way to look in on our little birds, but it also lets in quite a bit more light. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in skylights for the other cages. This time of year when it's cold, we'll be able to cover up those openings with clear plastic and then in the summertime, when we'll want to cool the birds off, we can uncover them to provide more ventilation. We can also experiment with laying Christmas lights out across the top here to add extra illumination. Well, I finished this part just in time for the weather to turn a little bit on me. It's snowing just a little bit, just barely even a trace out here, but it's still kind of pretty, you know? It's, uh, it's always a nice surprise when we get a little snow. Nice when it's just a little bit of snow.
snow are you goaties afraid of a little snow here's what it looks like with the plastic and the christmas lights the plastic sheeting is leftover pieces from when i built the cat house last year we'll probably upgrade to led christmas lights to save money in the long run but right now these old style that my dad gave me look just great. Here's a quail's eye perspective of this setup, shot just a little bit earlier in the day. You know, I love just about everything about living out here in the Pacific Northwest, but it would be pretty magical to have fireflies in the garden. Here in Oregon, this is about as close as we can get. Kind of nice to have a little snow.